Hey there everybody, it's Brian C. from NS Live TV. And right now I am at the Seabright Legion here in Seabright, Nova Scotia, which is on the Peggy's Cove Road. Uh, they are set up as a comfort center for anyone who is in need, escaping refuge from the fires. So come on down and see them. They've got lots of things here. They've got some food. Uh, there's cat food, there's baby clothes, there's baby food. Uh, they have a full kitchen, there's a TV. Like they are ready to take you in if you really need help. Come on down and see them. It's a, a great location, lots of space. You can be really comfortable here. They can even say open overnight and accommodate people overnight if they need to, that's uh, available. They'll be here till about 10 o'clock at night if, and if nobody comes, well then they'll close down. But right now they are open and it's about four o'clock today. So come on down and see them. They've got lots of things that are just ready and willing to, to help people out and uh, to give you some of the stuff they have here that's been donated. So. Yeah, come on down. Seabright Legion in Seabright, Nova Scotia. Okay, so I'm at the entrance here of uh, Shining Waters Marina, just a little ways down the uh, Peggy's Cove Road from the Seabright Legion. But they are also open and ready to accept some evacuees. They have a comfortable place to sit. There's a television. I saw water and some food and coffee and tea. So they do have some uh, facilities here if you need to come by if you're being evacuated from your home. I don't know if they're open overnight or not, uh, but if sure, if you call the number that's on the door that I'll, that I'll show you, you can find out. Well, that's it for this stop. I've got to move on to the Unicorn Theater. We'll see you there. Now I'm in front of the Unicorn Theater where they also have a comfort center. They're set up with a few supplies here where you can come in and, like I said, relax and just take it easy for it a little bit if you need to get away. They're even set up with some uh, blankets and uh, mattresses so you can stay overnight as well. So another great place to stop if you are in need and you had to evacuate your home because you don't have much time to grab stuff when you're told to evacuate, do you? Well, these people here have some stuff that you can uh, make use of. So come on down to the Unicorn Theater. I made my way around the bay to the Black Point Community Center and Fire Hall, where they have an official EMO comfort center. They're not letting media inside, and I have to say, it's a very busy place. They have a tremendous amount of supplies, and people are coming here to gather those supplies. The center is open till 9 o'clock at night and open again at 8 o'clock in the morning for people who need aid. For anybody needing overnight accommodations, the Canada Game Center is open for that. So I have to say that the local community has really stepped up to the plate. The tremendous amount of donations, aid and support to those who are in need. And I'm proud to be a part of this community myself. That's it for me, just letting you know what's available and where you can go if you do need help. This is Brian C. from NS Live TV. Stay safe and hopefully uh, this will end soon. <laughs>